just because I've been accumulating stuff on my little cart right here stuff that I finished some stuff this is basically um, all the stuff that I loved and I will be repurchasing so if you guys want to see my beauty empties please make sure you subscribe to my channel and also please make sure you give it a thumbs up and please make sure you follow me on my social media and yeah let's go ahead and get started so I think I'm going to start with skincare, like skin stuff, because I feel like I have most of stuff skincare. I think I have like a little bit of each. So I'm going to start with my skincare. And first of all, I want to talk about a makeup remover. You guys have seen me use this before in my skincare routine, and I've also mentioned it. So this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, and it looks like this. And this guy's like it's already out. I kind of like the container, but I don't know what I would put in it, but I kind of like it. So I don't know, but I really don't like to store stuff that are empty because I, I just don't like to accumulate empty stuff or stuff that I don't use. So so once again, this is the Clinique Take Off the Day Cleansing Balm. And I like this because this removes your makeup like this so you just apply a little bit you massage it all over your face and you can actually see the makeup melting so that's why i like it um i don't feel like it leaves my skin oily i know some people say they don't like it because it leaves their skin oily my skin it is combination and most of the times it gets oily and i don't feel like this one gets that oily on my face it doesn't break me out I think it did broke me out maybe like the first two or three times that I used it. Like I did kind of see like a little, you know, pimple, whatever. But it wasn't that a big of a deal because usually when I try out new stuff, I break out. But after that, it was fine. Um, my skin did not break out. I didn't have any allergy reactions to it. I didn't get any um, oily or anything like that. So I really like this and I'm... And I actually think it's kind of affordable for a Clinique thing. I think this is around $22 or $23, I want to say. I'm not sure. Um, but I really like this balm and I did purchase a new one because I can't live without it. I take off my makeup with this and I really do enjoy it. So this is the first thing that I completely ran out of. Actually, I think this is like my second one that I ran out. So, yeah. So that's how good it is. Another thing is my skincare. You all know that I like this brand right here and that I've used it um, quite a while now. This is a brand I Cure. This is like the old packaging and this is the facial scrubs. What I like about this is that it's all natural. So you can buy this at Target or Sprouts and I really like it. I only use the scrub like two times, maybe three times a week. I really like it because the scrub it's kind of like like you can actually feel the scrub it is kind of harsh but once you apply it to your skin it does feel kind of like harsh but my skin is sensitive and I don't feel like it kind of like irritates it or it leaves it red or anything like that I really like it because I do feel like this one cleans all my face and I've been using it for quite a while now and I finally ran out of this one and I just purchased another one. So I really love, love this scrub. Another two things that I have from that brand is the day cream, the day cream and the night cream. I wish they made this in a bigger size, kind of like this size, because let me see. This is a, the cream and this is the, exfoli the exfoliant. So I wish they made these the size of the exfoliant just because I feel like I've run through them kind of quick. So first of all, the day cream, this is amazing because it doesn't leave my skin feeling oily. You know, sometimes when you apply a moisturizer, it leaves your skin feeling kind of like greasy. This one doesn't do that and I like it because it does moisturize and it has argan oil and... I really do enjoy this so I finally went through one of these actually the other one that I bought I'm almost out of it so 
and then the night cream i like this because it's the same as the other one doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy or oily and i do feel like they moisturize so i have really been liking these two and i ran out of them so moving on i have a perfume i'm not even sure if they have this packaging anymore i don't think so but i do want to repurchase it because i love this scent and it's the victoria's secret and it looks like this this guys it's kind of old but it does take me a while to run out of perfumes because i have so many and this is called the sexy little thing fragrant mist it looks like this they still have this perfume but i'm not sure if they have the mist in this presentation anymore but i do want to repurchase this one because i completely ran out of it still has some in there but i can't really like spray it out so i really like this because it is so fresh lasts a while like it doesn't you know like fragrant mist usually like they go away this one doesn't go away it does really stay on i used to use this as a regular perfume not just as a mist and i really like it so i do plan on purchasing this again Another thing from Victoria's Secret, which I don't know if they sell anymore, but I love. And this is the Victoria's Secret Hair High Shine Serum. So it looks like this. And this is a... There's like dog hair on it because it is all dirty from here. And my dogs are always in my room, so... I'm sorry if you see pet hair but if you have pets you'll understand me um this is the high shine serum i like this because it has a super super good scent to it and i feel like it does control my frizz and i usually apply this whenever i straighten my hair and i really do like it and i'm not even sure if they still sell this i know victoria's secret had removed all their hair products back like maybe last year because i couldn't find anything not even like a hairspray dry shampoo i couldn't find anything but i don't know if they already brought it back but i do have to go check it out because i do like this one also the hairspray and the dry shampoo smell so good so i need to go check out if they already have this again another hair care that i've been enjoying and i actually ran out through like I don't know, I want to say two or three of these. This is the Garnier Fructis. I mentioned this on one of my favorite videos. And this is a pure clean detangler and air dry plus aloe extract. So I like this because I usually apply this whenever I'm out of the shower. I spray it all over my hair. My hair gets so tangled even before I dyed it. And it's not because I have it dyed because my hair is not even like damaged at all. And um, it's not even because... I dyed it that it gets tangled it's always gotten tangled no matter what like it's always gotten tangled so I do find this helpful and I do feel like it untangles my hair and I like it because it's um it has air dry so it helps it dry not frizzy which I love because my hair is kind of weird like if I sleep on it wet I wake up like not straight hair but it's not frizzy but if I shower in the morning and I'm out and about with wet hair it gets frizzy like not frizzy but you know what i mean and i like this one because i do find it helpful and it controls my frizz so i really do enjoy this one and i did purchase like two of them because i go through them so quickly moving on to makeup i do have i don't have a lot of makeup because it does take me a while to run out of makeup so the first thing i have two foundations here with me and the first one is the maybelline fit me fit me matte and poreless foundation this is in the shade 220 this is my favorite drugstore foundation i completely ran out of it and i do have another one like in two more shades so i ran out of the shade 220 which is natural beige i love this foundation because it looks super natural but it does have full coverage and it does leave your skin matte and poreless i do find out that during the day like later later like a couple of hours it does bring back my oils but it doesn't look bad like it just looks like luminous it doesn't look like oily that you're like oh my face look greasy no it does not look like that it looks like a healthy glow so i really enjoy this foundation a lot the other foundation that you all know that it's my favorite foundation it's the Too faced born this way foundation and i'm completely out of this one this is the shade warm beige i used to mix this one with the natural beige which is my shade right now i won't be purchasing this shade anymore because i'm not this shade anymore 
and maybe later in the summer when I get a little bit more tan maybe I'll buy it but right now I have light beige and natural beige and I just mix those two together and I'm fine so I really like this foundation a lot as well so another makeup product that I have is my favorite mascara of all time and this took me a while to run out because I have a bunch of mascaras that I'm constantly using because if you buy a mascara and you don't use it, mascaras go back super quick, like six months or seven months. So once I open a mascara, I like to like switch them around just so I can be using them and not just leave them there and not use them. But this is the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I'm completely out of this mascara, but I do have another one and I have a backup in my drawer, so... This mascara, it is so good. Like, I like the wand because it's not that big, but it's not that small. And it does really, like, cover all your lashes. It grabs them from the root, and I really enjoy this mascara. It makes, it gives them volume, it lifts them up, and I really enjoy it. So, I completely ran out of mascara. I can't believe I ran out of mascara. I think this is the first mascara that I ran out of completely without me having to throw it away because it went bad. So, I really enjoyed it. Next what I have, this is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. If you guys have seen me from the beginning, you all know that this was my favorite um, brow gel, which looks like this. It does have a little bit still, but um, you, can, you have to like literally go in there and get some out. I love this because it does control your eyebrows and it is a clear brow gel so you don't have any tint but i recently purchased other ones that i like and i really do like them so i don't plan on purchasing purchasing this anymore just because i like the other ones better than this one but still if i had to choose a brow gel from the drugstore i would completely go for the nyx control freak brow gel another thing that i have for my brows it's my all-time favorite brow pencil and this is the Anastasia brow definer in the shade chocolate which looks like this it completely it doesn't even like roll up anymore but I do have um, a few other ones that I'm still using so I really like this because of the shape of the pencil. It's kind of like in a little triangle. So I feel it's so easy to make my brow shape. It's like super easy. It's not super waxy. It's pigmented. And I've been using this for a while now. I either use this or I use a brow whiz. I use both. And I really do enjoy it. And like I said, I do have um, more of these laying around here and on my desk. And I have backups. So... Um, with this brow pencil you can't go wrong next this is a setting spray actually I have two setting sprays and this is the morphe continuing setting mist if you guys have not tried this you have to because it is just so good it's like squirting it's like squirting because it doesn't have any more but I really do like this setting mix, especially the aerosol mist because it doesn't like squirt into your face. So I really like this because I love how my makeup looks after this. Um, it doesn't, it still looks like I have makeup on, but it doesn't look like powdery and it doesn't look kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't look cakey. But you know how foundation sometimes looks with powder? Like you can see that you have foundation. This one you can still see you have foundation but it's not as bad. And it kind of like sets your um, powder so your face does not look powdery. And I feel like I don't get as much oily with this. And I really do enjoy it. And I do have another one. So I'm still using it and I love it. And then I also have the Mario Badescu. This is the facial spray. This is the Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea. This is my favorite Mario Badescu setting spray. Well, it's not a setting spray. It's just like a mist, like a facial mist. But I do use it as a setting spray. It doesn't set your foundation. It doesn't set your makeup that it's going to last all day, like a setting like a setting mist but I do like it because it does melt your powder into your skin it looks fresh you can use this any time of the day if you feel kind of like hot you just come you spray it and it refreshes your face so mainly that's what I use it for just to apply it after my makeup and then just pat it and control like my powders like it just sets your powders in place and i really love this scent i do have another one like i said because i do like it and yes 
And the last thing that I have, I mentioned this on my favorites videos. This is the Teeny Colon Cleanser. You guys, oh my god. If you guys have problem um, doing the restroom, and by that I mean like pooping, this tea really helps because it literally takes all your shit out of you. Like it, it just cleans your stomach and... I really do enjoy it. I did buy another one. I do have to give a break. I think it's like two weeks break before I start using the other one because um, I don't think you can use this like constantly. So they told me I needed to wait at least two weeks to use the other one. But I'm dying to use it because I do have a problem pooping and this really helped and I do enjoyed it and I am going to continue using it. I also like the other one, the teeny skinny tea, but I'm still drinking that one and I really enjoyed this one and like I said I did purchase another one because I do feel like it helps me. Everybody may be different but it helped me so I am really liking it and I am going to take it again so this is the last thing that I have I don't think I missed anything and like I said before I am going to continue to recycle my empties just so I can show you guys my favorites what I liked so this is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see a look on this makeup look that I have right here I did film it so it should already be up I use the Anastasia Rivera palette and it is so pretty. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. And until next time, like always, I will see you guys soon. Bye.